Hey everyone, this is Terry and welcome back to World of Warships Blitz. Today, as promised last week, we're going to be talking about the Tier 5 Soviet Premium Destroyer, the Okotnik. And <laughs> this ship is hilarious. Honestly, uh, uh, this ship's absolutely mad. So, I imagine kind of this went like this. There were a couple of Soviet engineers who decided that they had to make a new destroyer and they said, look, what, what have we got that works well on these destroyers? We've got our great 130mm guns. Um, why don't we build one and put a lot of guns on it? And then the other guy asks, like, how many are we going to put? And the first guy says, we're going to put all of them. And then he says, oh, how about the torpedoes? And the other guy says, ah, torpedoes are a bit crap, really. So, but it's a destroyer, so you kind of have to put torpedoes on it. So the, the first guy says, all right, and let's put torpedoes on it. And the other guy says, how many? And the first guy says, oh, bloody well, all of them. And, and this is what came out of this thing, right? This is the Okotnik. It has seven, seven guns in single mounted turrets, two forward, five backwards. It has four torpedo launchers, center mounted. This thing is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it doesn't have a great amount of health. The maneuverability is okay. The turn time isn't that great. At almost four seconds, it's okay though. Speed isn't all that great either. No, to fit all these guns and torpedoes on it, they had to make that thing rather lengthy. I mean, if you look at it, it's really, really long. And, um, they're, they're, well, there we go. 130 millimeter guns. Seven 130 millimeter guns. Seven second reload time. This thing has, I'd say, almost more gunpower than than something like the Omaha, the light cruiser at tier 5, the American. Because uh, the, these guns are center mounted. They can fire both directions. But most of the light cruisers have the gun side mounted, so they can only fire one side. So you can only shoot half of them at any, any point in time. So you've got seven guns. They've got a seven second reload, which is a bit lengthy. But um, again, they're really good Soviet 130mm uh, guns. They do four, almost 400 HE damage and they do um, have a good chance of setting fire. So yes, you have a lot of guns, but you also have an absolutely ridiculous amount of torpedoes. You've got four triple launchers. Well, a lot of light cruisers around this have, have like the, German have, the Germans have triple launchers as well, and they've got a better range. Yes, but they're light cruisers, they have them side mounted. It means they need to turn around to fire them all. This one is center mounted. They can fire them all in, the, in, in, in either direction that they choose. So I can literally fire 12 torpedoes one side. I mean, they don't do a lot of, ma a lot of damage, right? They do about 2,000 damage. We can fire 12 of them. And they only have a 30 second reload time. So after half a minute, they can fire another 12. This thing can saturate its environment with torpedoes. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just, this thing is, I, I actually got this thing. I had some gold left from a bundle, and I, I, I figured it was on sale, and I thought, ah, I'm going to try this out. And this is hilarious. This is the most trollish ship you can, in the whole game, in my opinion. Uh, for the for the elite bonus, I've gone with the advanced HE shell. Again, there's a bit more main battery damage, increases the chance of setting fire, because that's what you want to do with a Soviet destroyer, because your torpedoes have no range whatsoever. So um, while you're waiting for the reload, which really on this thing isn't all that long, you can go and set some fires on things. Also, um, uh, I'm going to zoom that in again. No, note where five of the seven guns are. They're rear mounted. And relatively per. I mean, why they can't super fire? They sing, um, they're not turreted. They're sing single barrel guns. So if you steer just the slightest bit off to the side, you can fire five of your seven guns backwards while running away from the enemy at 35 knots. This is absolutely hilarious. Battleships trying to shoot you and you're firing back at them with five guns. I don't think, I don't know, the Nuremberg at tier six or the Königsberg at tier five, again, it's a light cruiser, has six rear mount, has six guns and two rear turrets, right? But it's a freaking light cruiser. This is a destroyer. I love this thing. Um, in terms of equipment, what have I gotten in there? I've got the uh, main battery mod, mod for Traverse because the Traverse is, 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 is not great in the early Soviet uh, destroyers. The Traverse is not the greatest. Um, I've gone with a bit of steering gear mod for the turn time and the one downside that the Okotnik has is it is rather slow with 35 knots. And again, the uh, the Omaha does for, for 35 knots perfectly fine and has probably about as good as a turn time and that's a light cruiser. So 
Uh, that said, my commander in this thing is relatively new, so I've just got the I've just got the underwater protection, the to the, the two torpedo upgrades in the first two levels. I've got the preheating, as is common for my destroyer builds, and I've got the victorious charge. Um, not really anything. I'm 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 madly looking forward because this thing has no skills has no skills to speak of, right? It's um. It's got the engine accelerator in tier five, and that's it. And that's what the normal, that's what the stock tier five things get as well, the um, the Podvoisky. But um, this thing is great fun. This is a troll ship, par excellence. I really love this thing. So, if you think if you like Soviet destroyers and you like close-in fights and or you're a light cruiser player and you want to get started with destroyers, this thing is almost a light cruiser. Then. Um, I can definitely recommend her. She is amazingly fun. All right, I'll give you a bit of an impression, and then you can decide for yourself if this is something you want to buy. All right, uh, it is getting a little bit lonely on the server at this time, so we only have two actual players, a Budioni and a New York, and the rest is all computer players. But um, that's what we get, so let's make the best out of it. See if we can do it here. We'll go for A, in the big race. And uh, given that they're computer players, they don't they don't damage control, so we we'll stick with the high explosives. Um, immediately head out. Now you see the speed isn't all that great. That's what I mentioned earlier. You know, Kotnik does not have the greatest amount of speed. Now, if you're playing bots. Um, one thing you got to be aware of: a lot of them will fire high explosive almost um, ex exclusively, which is not so much of a problem when they are the destroyers. It is a bit of a problem when they're battleships, because that actually happens to be a problem. Um, I'm going for A. You take C, I take A. We're two DDs here, there's no reason for us to be in the same spot. There comes an Omaha. And we already spotted. Oh, the Omaha is actually firing armor piercing at us. Uh, the destroyers you don't have to be too worried about, because they usually... Look at that torpedo fire. And let's get all the torpedoes out. <laughs> Twelve torps and seven guns. Look at this. Kaboom. Okay, that's one down. And there's a Mutsuki. Who did we have on the enemy team? Uh, the New York and the Budioni. So we gotta watch out for the Budioni. Uh, probably over there. So for starters, let's just worry about this Mutsuki here. Let's see if we can set him on fire. Oh, the carrier's after me. That's on. Pleasant. Not quite what I like seeing. That's in New York. Alright, then since we're here, let's make the best of it. And let's see if we can do some damage to this New York. Is he AFK? There's a Budioni. Either he's. He's not doing anything, so he's probably AFK. Well, better for us. Get all the torpedoes fired. And then let's worry about the carrier. See if we can set him on fire. What was that? He's not AFK, he's actually moving. Okay, he's playing dead. All right then, we'll torp the carrier then. You don't want to be torped. All right, carrier down. Ow! Okay, that's the Budioni shooting at us. Don't want any of that. Can somebody kill that guy, please? So the Budioni is uh, having a hundred, very nasty hundred eighty millimeter guns. What, have they just been sitting back here waiting for me to do this? Oh well. Let's see if you can hit me at that distance. So my damage control comes off cooldown. Meanwhile other people can shoot you. 
And I can shoot you. I've got seven guns. Okay, damage control is of... Ow! Damage control is of cooldown. Still gotta watch out for his guns. So let's not give him anything to shoot at. And that's what I meant. You can shoot these... You can shoot these seven guns rearwards. Come on. Oh, don't damage control. Speed up again. That should do it. Okay, we got the Bujani. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Mutsuki. Let's get our torps out. Give you a nice wide spread of all the torps. I don't want to die to a computer player, Mutsuki. Okay, that's one, two, three, there he goes. Okay, there we go. Good job. Well done with the Budioni, by the way. That was good work back there. I assume that was you blapping that thing. So this is what it's like to play in these kind of ships. Um, or <laughs> in, in Soviet destroyers in general. And uh, in this one especially, you've got a massive amount of firepower. I've got 17 torpedo hits. That's actually not that much. This is just one because my, my salvo against that New York actually didn't hit. He was just sitting there playing dead and then dodged my torpedoes, the sneaky one. Um, and I want, got a minute left. Let's see if I can get something to. Can I get some fire on him after he woke up? Nah, I don't need to damage control. I need to waste a thousand. Credits for that. If I die, I die. This is just YOLOing now at this point. Can I get close enough to get my guns off? Still. Ah, it's the mountain in the way. Uh, just in range. Let's see if we can do something with him still. Hello. I'm um, gonna give you a fair chance. I'll give you a broadside. No, nope, I'm just using my guns. And we get another salvo off. One more. We ninja the kill. <laughs> yes, we can. And we got the Kraken. <laughs> there we go. This, my friends, is the Okotnik. The most trollish ship in the game. It shoots all the torpedoes and all the guns at tier 5. Look at that outcome. <laughs> I'm almost sorry for this. I mean, yes, we fought before mostly computer players, but still. They actually, actually, the bot players are a lot better at dodging torpedoes at tier 5 than the human players. Because, you know, honestly, you can get to tier 5 quite quickly, and a lot of, a lot of players you hit at these tiers are still new players who haven't really figured out what situational awareness is and how to keep an eye out on the minimap and see where the destroyer is coming. They focus, they zoom in, they focus on something, and they keep mashing the buttons, and then you torp them. So I'm um, feeling always a little bit bad to play like a tier 5 premium. But um, I mean, you, we, you, you give and take, right? We've taken, a sh we've taken a lot of damage. Let me not curse here. We've taken a lot of damage. We've dished out a lot of damage. That's how I like playing Soviet destroyers. Um, 30,000 torp damage, uh, 20,000 main battery damage, could have done more, and um, could have definitely done more, I mean, this thing can, can, do an, can do an amazing amount of damage, and we've got all the, we've got all the medals, and I'm kind of feeling bad for the Octopus Carrier here, because he was doing a great job, um, uh, Poi, Pao, Poi, von, Poi von Pao, well done, very well done. And uh, blapping that, uh, blapping that Budioni and giving support while I was while I was distracting all the people back there. So uh, good job, really well done. And uh, this is a very fun ship. I love this ship. So if you are a, a, a destroyer player or a light cruiser player and you want to have something a premium ship at around tier five, or if you're just a new a new player and you want to have something really really funny and trollish. Um, this ship's great. It's great fun, and um, it's a great intro to Soviet destroyers. Uh, it, it, sometimes it doesn't work, and you you you, you get uh, a light cruiser or like a Budioni or something like that, like a tier five cruiser, um, just just killing you. 
because you can't turn that quickly. But, you know, if you manage to get close to enemy ships, and uh, you can dish out hilarious, hilarious amounts of damage with this thing. So, uh, this is great fun. <laughs> this is really great fun, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.